You know, I really wish that this happened at WrestleMania 28. What's going on, everybody? Alex here bringing you another What If WWE match. What if Triple H battled Shawn Michaels, who battled The Undertaker at WrestleMania? Yes, guys, triple threat match. Taker, Hunter, Shawn Michaels. Oh, my God. This match would have been match of the freaking decade. Now, the uh, WrestleMania 28 match inside Hell in a Cell with Triple H and The Undertaker, that was a magnificent match. It was really good. There was great story, great chemistry. You know, uh, it, it was brutal to watch, too, because The Undertaker took, like, 50,000 chair shots to the back. You know, Triple H took, like, multiple chair shots. It was brutal, but... By having Shawn Michaels in the match, it made it more special because it got you thinking, what if it was a triple threat match? Now, it could have played off like this. It could have played off, you know, Shawn Michaels coming back to the WWE and saying to Triple H, well, what makes you think you can do what I couldn't? You know, I was always better than you, so what makes you think you can do it and I can't, blah, blah, blah. And Triple H can look at Shawn Michaels and say, well, I had a better match with him than you did. And then The Undertaker can come out and say, Shawn was always better than you. And just, you know, that this this could have really elevated. And actually, and in, in, in essence, it would have been the perfect career-ending match for all three guys. Um, a perfect send-away for Triple H, a perfect send-away for Shawn Michaels, and a perfect send-away for The Undertaker, being that the, they, they are the last, well, a, a few of the last, of the Attitude Era. Um, you know, these three guys were big in the Attitude Era. They were big in the 90s. And these guys, you know, they basically shaped, you know, the world of wrestling of what it is today. And without these three wrestling today, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be the same. You know what I mean? So, with these three, they, they could have done an amazing match together. They could have done like a one-hour, you know, triple threat match between each other. Can you just imagine that, folks? You know, the beginning of the match, Shawn Michaels kicking Triple H in the face, knocking him out the ring while Shawn Michaels in the Undertaker brawl. And then, you know, Triple H walking on in and just pentagreeing Shawn Michaels and then throwing him out. And then him and the Undertaker go at it. And then you can have Shawn Michaels and Triple H double team Taker. It'll basically be like DX versus Taker, it's pretty much. Um, you know, who, who can beat who? Now, guys, let me know in the comment section below on your thoughts and opinions on this. Uh, do you guys agree with Hat? Well, did, did you guys agree with uh, there being a triple threat match uh, back in WrestleMania 28? What, what are the chances of it happening at WrestleMania 29, 30, 31, 32, 33? Uh, what do you guys think? Do you guys think it's ever going to happen? Yes, no, let me know in the comment section below and why. Um, the Undertaker's still going. You know, that, that that's remarkable enough. Um, a lot of people say, well, that's nothing. You know, look at Ric Flair. Ric Flair is different, you know what I mean? Ric Flair doesn't, you know, jump off the rope and land on his neck at WrestleMania. You know, Ric Flair doesn't, um, you know, just take brutal shots to the head. You, you know what I mean? R Ric Flair is an amazing, amazing wrestler and performer. And Ric Flair is truly a one-of-a-kind but, you know, it's 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 a different ball game for both companies, for TNA and WWE. You know what I mean? If it's a WrestleMania-bound match, you know, I still think Wrestle I, I still think Ric Flair's final match should have been with uh, Shawn Michaels. You know what I mean? I don't get why these people, they don't have their final matches with the person of their dreams. You know what I mean? Personally, for me, I would have been grateful and honored to have my last match with anybody. That, that has to do with uh, Triple H, Shawn Michaels, The Undertaker, or Ric Flair. You know what I mean? That, that That's a prestigious honor. You go out in a bang. Like, you know, uh, hey, what was your last match and who was your last match with? Oh, The Undertaker, Triple H, Shawn Michaels, you know, Ric Flair. That would have been amazing. But, you know, the thought of having a triple threat match would have been awesome. The way I would have booked it was just as I said in the beginning of the video. I would have had The Undertaker come out and talk about how he destroyed people and how he's basically the most unstoppable force that there ever was and ever will be. And then, you know, Triple H comes out and says, I want one more shot, fuck that, no, no, no. And then Shawn Michaels comes out and says, no, you don't deserve one because what makes you think you can do what I couldn't? And then they get in each other's faces and they start, you know, going at it a little bit. And then, you know, Undertaker can just walk off laughing like, I beat the both of you. The both of you are nothing. You're just another name on the list, pretty much. And uh, pretty much sets itself up. Now, in the actual match, hell yeah, I would have made this match an hour long. Probably even more of an hour. You know what I mean? I would have made... I would have made WrestleMania revolve around a few things. I would have made WrestleMania revolve around my two champions, which are the World Heavyweight Champion and the WWE Champion. I would have made my WrestleMania revolve around the mid carters and the young talent in terms of Money in the Bank matches and all the other matches. But the main thing I would focus on would be this match. I would give this match maybe an hour and 15 minutes. You know, this would be probably the longest match in WrestleMania history. And I would make it the most brutal match in WrestleMania history. You know what I mean? And finally, uh, the winner of this match, 
honestly, I would have it that Taker tombstones uh, Triple H and then Taker tombstones Shawn Michaels and then pins them both at the exact same time and then therefore winning, you know what I mean? Continuing his streak and therefore at the same time ending it with a big bang being that it was Triple H, Shawn Michaels, you know, that were his last opponents and, you know, personally, that, that would have told an amazing, you know, story. That would have been the highlight of wrestling. That would have been the most epic moment in wrestling, having these three characters, these three amazing performers just duke it out on the stage. You know what I mean? And the fact that people grew up watching these guys and now having them all in the same ring just battle. Literally battle. Can you imagine that? You will see nothing but choke slams, last rides, super kicks, pedigrees, you know, hell's gates, tombstones, sledgehammers, elbow drops, chair shots, tables being broken, barricades being crashed through. Uh, you know, just everything and the kitchen sink would happen. Like right now, if Triple H is about to ping the Undertaker, holy shit. Is he gonna get him? Is he gonna get him? Bam, he got him. Shit, damn. But, uh, you know, I, I can definitely see, the, like, everybody competing for that. You know, Shawn Michaels super kicks Taker, and then Taker turns around, bam, right into a pedigree. You know, it, it, it would have been amazing. It would have been truly spectacular to see. But, you know, it, it's all up to the wrestlers themselves. It's all up to the bookers in the back. And, um, quite frankly, this would have been the epicenter of all matches you know what i mean the, the beginning of a new era the ending of an old one and the, and the beginning of a new one so i mean the rock and john cena uh, you know on wrestlemania 28 it, it wasn't the match of the night the match of the night was triple h versus the undertaker that was the match you know what i mean and you know that that just goes to show that you know all the young guys because rock and cena are technically considered young amongst these guys they, they need to understand, well, Rock understands, but Cena needs to understand that, you know, he has to one day put on a match like this. I mean, even though he might or might not, you know, it's all up to the young talent. Like I just said, it's the beginning, it's the end of the old era and the beginning of a new one. So will we ever see a match like this in the far future? Maybe, you know what I mean? Once uh, us, you know, hardcore wrestling fans are long and gone, you know, there's going to be a new generation that's going to carry on, you know what I mean? Because not everybody lives forever. So pretty much said and done, um, the fact that, you know, there's going to be a new crowd, new wrestlers, a new environment, new titles, new story, new characters, new management, you know what I mean? Everything is going to be completely different, so it's up to the future generation to look back on matches like WrestleMania 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, you know, and all the other WrestleManias prior, all the way up until one, and just, you know, be grateful and, and be humble for having guys like this who paved the way for the future, you know what I mean? And this match right here, it would have been the epicenter of all, all of wrestling in general, in my opinion. Um, if this match would have been booked for like a 30 minute match, I'd be pissed. Uh, even 45 minutes of that matter, I would have been pissed. This match, if it were to ever to happen before or after, um, I would have given it an hour and 15 minutes the least because this match would have been brutal in every single way. And I definitely would have had JR and King call this match all the way. I would not have Michael Cole. I'm sorry, Michael Cole, but, you know, he's just not as captivating as JR. You know, JR gets on there and he makes it seem like it's the end of the fucking world. You know, JR is the man when it comes to this stuff. I mean, I, I like it's just amazing. It's just amazing to see how wrestling is uh, changing, you know. So, I mean, but then again, you never know what may happen in the future. So, never say die. But right now, Shawn Michaels is about to get last right. Oh, my God. You know, I mean, I took him power bombs before because I myself am a, I'm, I'm a wrestler myself. And I took him power bombs, choke slams, you know, body slams and shit. But I cannot imagine taking a last ride from the Undertaker from that high up. It's just the elevation would be fucking crazy. Oh, and Triple H gets tombstone. Is this it? Oh, my God. Is this it? One. Oh, my God. Two. Wait, Sean standing there. Three. Wow, the Undertaker wins, guys. Holy shit. That's it for today. I'm Unvin Entertainment Gaming signing off. If you're a professional wrestling fan, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for all the latest wrestling news information and updates. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you guys agree with what I said, please like this video. Rape that like button. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. On that note, everybody, stay tuned. I'll be bringing you more wrestling videos as the day come. And uh, just enjoy. Have a happy and safe holidays, everybody. God bless. And I'll be seeing you all later. Peace.
is your winner, The Undertaker. Man, what a contest. We definitely just witnessed one for the ages.